So it was it was just me and my mom's growing up, right? And she was always worried about like if something were to happen to her, she wanted to make sure that I was able to take care of myself. So my mom was just really adamant on making sure that I was self-sufficient. I knew how to do everything or almost everything that she would do for me. And it kind of it kind of transformed into this this get by way of life, right? So, Tifa, you in grammar school now, you gotta make sure you do good so you can get by and you can get into high school, right? And when you get into high school, I want you to do your best, I want you to get good grades, I want you to, if you wanna dance, or you wanna do drama, you wanna do music, do everything so you can get by because you need that to get into a good college. You gotta get into a good college and you gotta do great and excel and be at the top of your class so you can get by and get a good job when you get out and take care of your family which is important to me but take care of your family and work that job getting by for 40 to 50 years until you retire wow and before I got to that point when I was 16 my boyfriend was murdered. I didn't care about getting by anymore. I just wanted to feel better. I just wanted a piece of happiness. And I remember I met my old rap partner, Shauna, through a mutual friend. <laughs> and um, we would just hang out and we would just cipher and we would rap. And it was so dope because we just had fun, and it was just about the moment. It wasn't about how that moment affected tomorrow. It wasn't about getting by. And eventually, we ended up signing a record deal and touring the world, like out the country, straight out of high school. It's the greatest thing that happened to my life because it changed my mind. It changed my perspective. Everything was different. I looked at myself different. I looked at what I was capable of accomplishing different. I looked at the world different. I looked at what I wanted and how I dreamed for myself different. And went from that small box of getting by to the big box of the world and just dreaming anything you could possibly imagine for yourself. And now, that's how I live. That's what makes me happy. You know, sometimes my thoughts for myself and my dreams are so big, I feel awkward telling people because it's like, often they're like, that's too big, that's too much. You should focus on something small. And I'm like, eh, that's cool. That's kind of easy. <laughs> I want to focus on that big one, you know? And I think that that's what makes people happy. It's seeing their self or actually accomplishing those big, big dreams that they think up, you know? That they've never seen anybody else do before or never do it in the way that they want to do it. That's so why I encourage everybody, even myself, every day. I say it every time I can. Dream big, y'all. Big.